Hey y'all, NK here and welcome back to the cookery. Today I am actually going to be doing not really a mukbang but kind of a little review of this donut shop called The Donut Man. I have never tried it before but I know it's pretty popular because of their kind of signature kind of new take on donuts with strawberries and peaches. So I got a box today and we are going to dive right in and see, basically only review the strawberry donut because that is their probably best seller there and they didn't have peaches this time so we are going to take a look at that I'm going to go over the prices with you guys and how long it really took to actually get the donuts by itself and if it was overall worth it all right y'all so before I actually open the box I'm going to tell you guys how the process we actually got there so we are driving down route 66 and that is where the donut man shop was. Now it's pretty like has its kind of own area and it was definitely a long line. We had to wait about 30 to 40 minutes. So obviously by the time we got up to the front of the line, we definitely want to order a good amount of donuts. So I have actually our receipt right here. And for the strawberry donut, um, we got three of them and they were actually $15 in total. So definitely a bit pricey for a donut, but it definitely got a lot of strawberries in it as was so obvious where they had trays and everything so I guess it's somewhat worth it <laughs> and then glazed sugar was three dollars and sixty cents for three and then glazed plain was also three dollars sixty for three two french coolers for two dollar forty and then one tiger tail two dollar fifty and then we got two buttermilk bars which I've never even heard of before but we'll see how that goes for three dollar fifty for two and for some reason we got a 10% discount I still don't know why but the overall total was about $30 so that was our order right there all right so after I opened the box this is what we actually got there are three glaze here also three sugars kind of just your average what I usually get at a donut shop but then the different things that we got obviously were the three um, strawberry donuts which is also what they're kind of known for here uh, two French coolers, two buttermilk bars, and this tiger tail, which we are all going to try, but mostly we're going to focus on the three strawberry donuts right here, which are kind of look at. Definitely kind of sticky, definitely have that whole sugary look right there, so we're going to see what's the big hype all about. All right, y'all, so I obviously took out my strawberry donut here. You can definitely see now that there are a lot of strawberries, definitely not cheap at all, which is good. Um, donut here. I think the donut is kind of just a glazed donut from what I'm kind of seeing, but I've never tried this before. This is my first time. Obviously, I have a knife and fork here because I have no idea how to go about this. And with the strawberries, there's like a strawberry syrup on it, so I can already tell it's going to be a sugary mess, but we're just going to see how it goes. So I'm just going to cut a piece here. Hi. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely very syrupy, very sugary, and yeah, I'm just going to try to make this as clean as possible. So that is our little donut there. I'm pretty sure it's just a glazed donut with strawberry syrup and strawberries inside, but let's see actually how it tastes. It actually tastes pretty good. Like there's obviously no stems in the strawberry, which I like which definitely makes it easier to eat. Not as actually sweet as I thought it was, like I can definitely handle it. Um, this is like the jam right here, if you guys can kind of see. So, I mean, it tastes nice, like it's pretty subtle actually. I thought it was gonna be really sweet, but it actually mixes well together and I kind of like it. I kind of wish that they definitely had the peaches there because I think I would have liked the peaches more compared to how I am thinking of how it might taste considering the strawberries taste really fine. I honestly really did think this was going to taste like super sweet, but it doesn't, so definitely a nice surprise. The The donut itself seems just like a regular uh, glazed donut, but like a kind of a sandwich, hence why it's open and the strawberries are in the middle, but I think this is actually really good, definitely. I would probably be full probably from eating just this by itself, so I think it actually tastes pretty good actually, and I think it actually might be worth it considering they do not seem cheap at all. and. It actually tastes pretty good. All right, the next and last kind of donut I will be trying today is their tiger's tail. Now, obviously I think it looks like a tiger's tail because of the stripes and just the color, but I looked it up, y'all, and a tiger's tail is actually two to three point something feet. So this is definitely not like a realistic tiger tail, 
but it definitely has the same color scheme. So I believe this is kind of just like another glazed donut, but it has something like in here, like the filling. I'm not sure if it's chocolate or cinnamon. Let's hope it's cinnamon because I'm definitely a bigger fan of cinnamon, but we will see. So I'm just gonna kind of cut the corner here. Definitely already kind of chewy seemingly, so I think it actually might be chocolate. It looks like chocolate. Kind of, there is the dough, little chocolate stripe, and then more dough, so let's see. All right, so it is definitely chocolate. Um, I'm honestly not super wowed about this one compared to how I was with the strawberry donut. This one actually feels a little bit drier. I don't know if it's just because I had the strawberry donut and it was, the strawberry donut was very, had that kind of liquid jam type of thing going on. This one feels like it's kind of actually very dry and just like a glazed donut with chocolate in the middle. Um, definitely not over excited about it. Um, some parts like this part is obviously very covered in glaze, but then this part on the bottom seems to actually have a severe like kind of lack of glaze. So definitely it tastes kind of dry. Um, definitely like the strawberry one better. Not a bad donut at all, but I don't know if I would actually, this would probably not be my favorite, obviously. So yeah, I mean, it's okay, but definitely not one of my favorites, I don't think, considering I've tried this once. And obviously we have a lot of glaze and sugar donuts than what I usually buy. So yeah. All right, y'all, that is it for this week's video. Just a nice quick review of something I've never tried before. Definitely a good first timer. Overall, definitely a very positive review. It has its own signature donuts as well as the classic sugar and glaze. My personal favorite is probably sugar, so I will definitely be eating that very soon. This one, I probably cannot be able to finish all by myself in one go. Definitely a lot of strawberries packed in, but definitely an overall, I think, pretty good price for what it gives. Definitely not cheap, kind of an original take on it. And overall, I think this was pretty a good experience and probably worth it, so that's that. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys ever happen to pass Route 66 in California, feel free to go ahead and get your own donuts at the Donut Man. Definitely had a good experience. We went pretty early in the morning and there was still a line, so probably be prepared for that. But overall, this was a pretty good experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed. Comment down below any suggestions, comments, etc. And I will see you guys next week.